friends, I have now planted the fish that was in the freezer. That is not real fish, uh, plant bait. I'm gonna let it, uh, you know, kind of cook a little bit, get a little hard. It's not too hard. So while that's happening, I took off the little pieces of tomato that I really, really need for my dish. See the very top. I don't, I don't know why I don't like that on my tomatoes, but these are very good. What I'm doing now is preparing these juicy tomatoes to put the fish in the middle, put it on top, and let it really cook. I'm going to cover the pan with foil so that the top part doesn't like burn and then the bottom is, uh, you know, not cooked or whatever. So, this is what I'm doing here, preparing. And then uh, once the fish is ready, I'm going to put it, like I said, um, make like a sandwich with it. Then I'm going to cover it inside of the pan and let it all cook together until the tomato juices soak into the fish and, and become one with the fish. And then it's going to dry, but the juices are going to transfer its juiciation into the fish and then dry as if it was created that way. I'll be back out with that. Okay, my dear friends, as the fish is in there cooking, I'm using this carrot peeler here to make my little plantain chips. I'm gonna fry it in some oil to crispify it. This is gonna be my fish chip. So I'll be back, I'll be back. Okay, my friends, I'm trying to get this thing to stick here. It's not working out very well, but the bottom line is, see what I'm doing? trying to make the fish and the cucumber fuse. So how I'm gonna hold it together? With the foil wrap, that's how. Put it on there. All right, give me a second guys. I have a vision. gonna happen. Okay. This. Okay. Put the foil first. Maybe that would be a smart thing to do. Huh? Duh. And then put the fish in put it into the foil. Listen, nothing good comes easy, okay? Bear with me, please. So now, see, I caught it. I got it, my good friends. Now, I'm gonna seal it off and toast it. And let all the juices marinate and soak into the fish. I'll be back, I'll be back. This here is some extra virgin olive oil that I poured in there and I'm letting it get a little, uh, it probably only gets but so hot, it's not the same as a frying pan in your home. But, as you can see, put my shredded, uh, what do you call this here? Planting is now, oh man. I wish it was hotter, but now the oil is going to soak into it, so there it is what it is. Like I said, it only gets so hot, it's not real hot. It can't do any deep frying or anything like that. But, the bottom line is that I'm going to fry it up, trying to make some chips, but instead of using potato, I'm going to use uh, plantain here. There you go. to God that it starts to fry. Uh, I know it's going to just soak up the oil, which is not really good. That's not my intention. But let's see what happens, my friends. I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay, my friends. Why if we just
just had a snack for the cucumbers and seasoning. So before she threw the little uh, seasonings away, I said, hey, no, I could use that. So I'm cutting up a mango here that I'm going to eat. I might heat it up. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I have some artichoke that I'm going to put with it. Never ate cold uh, artichoke, but I know it could be done that way. So I'm just gonna make this uh, into a side dish for the fish that I'm that's still cooking in the oven right now. So let me cut this up, and then I'm gonna add the artichoke, and then uh, I'm gonna shake it up for the seasonings, the like shake and bake uh, side veggie fruit slash whatever, and then I'll be back. I'll be back. Hey my dear friends, I noticed that the pot wasn't getting very hot and I prematurely put in the what I tried to make as planting chips. You know if you go to like a waffle house and you see how they shred the potatoes and then they make it into a hash brown. I was trying to do that with the planting but uh, it wasn't working out so I just got tired of it and that's why you see these big chunks like this right here. I just said you know forget it. So um, the oil kind of soaked into it a lot more than it should have because you cannot put oil that's not burning hot. You can't put anything into it because it's gonna just soak in. But when it's really hot, it kind of repels. It doesn't soak in, it just burns you and stuff, you know. So yeah, this is gonna be a very oily chip that I'm making here. But I had to turn on the truck because I noticed that the power of the battery was probably the issue so as soon as I turned on the truck then the pot got you know a lot hotter and now it started cooking but it's already too late because the oil soaked into the planting so I'm gonna have to do some kind of dish along with it to kind of soak up the oil because we don't waste here you're poor so you gotta salvage it and just make a way to make it tasty and healthy it's virgin olive oil but it's still rich too much of it is not good so i'm gonna leave this here fuel let it char a little bit then i'm gonna go back to my tomato uh, creation and see what's going on with that thank you guys Have it. okay my dear friends so i cut up some mango it smells a little yeah you know, kind of soft it's i didn't want it to spoil and i have enough on my plate with it so look up the seasonings with the other mango and a couple bites of cucumber in there and I'm gonna cook it up with some leftover oil that was in the pot that I didn't wash the pot yet and also I'm gonna add some artichoke parts in there no seasonings at all just all natural together I'm gonna cook this up this is going to be my side dish. I always have a veggie portion of any meal I make. So this is going to be it here. I'm going to just cook it up together and uh, not too much, but a little bit. And uh, I'll be back, I'll be back. Friends, again, this thing, uh, the mango smelled a little, you know, not well. So what I'm going to do to try to heal it a little bit, at least, and I have the season here too for flavor. I'm gonna pour a little bit of lime juice in here. And see what can happen. I'm on my 34 hour break about to do laundry and stuff like that, but I wanted to cook before, you know, I start all that other stuff. Very important to eat. It smells extravagant. No seasonings, no salt, no anything, just a little bit of leftover oil, olive oil from the plantain, uh, some spoiled mango and can of artichoke and wifey's uh, old, uh, what was this, uh, cucumber she was eating with salt and vinegar. I just dumped the seasoning in here. Oh yeah, so that jeans, it does have actually salt and pepper from that. But aside from that, I didn't put anything myself. So I'm gonna let this, uh, I'm gonna turn this off right now actually, because it's getting too much water. But this is gonna be a side dish for the main course. And uh, I'll be back, I'll be back. My 
dear friends, I've turned on the pot. It's empty, yes. I'm gonna put a half a stick of butter. There you go, there you go. This is not quite the way I always do it, but you know, I didn't get a chance. I, this was unexpected, I didn't get a chance to buy the things I really wanted and stuff. But hey, life goes on. Put some water here. Alright. Put some uh, salt. Some salt. Put that much water. You can see how much I'm putting. I don't measure stuff. Also, the, um, the butter is salted. To keep that in mind. Uh, also, I'm gonna put a little bit, just a tiny bit of some sugar here. And it gives it a good flavor. Oh, oh my goodness, that was too much. But it's okay, some people like it sweet. I don't. It'll be alright, nobody will be hurt. A little bit extra sugar in the grits. And now, I never measure, like I say, I never time it. I don't read the uh, instructions on how to cook. I just know what I'm cooking and I cook. So, unfortunately, this thing from the truck rocking, uh, it kind of, it was on top of another bottle and the bottle punctured it from the bottom. So, this is my first time using it. I'm gonna have to make the bottom of the top so that it doesn't end up all over the place. Um, this is not how the manufacturer intended it, but there you go. So now I'm going to add some grits. Uh, I think that's good enough. Okay. Grits is not something you want to put in the fridge and reheat all the time. You, know, you got to kind of eat it fresh and right away. Um, I add the water as I go. I know that's a lot of water. You know what? Let me put it in. That's a lot of water. Too much more. So add a tiny bit more of the grit. Not much. Damn it. There you go. There you go. Okay, guys. I don't like my grits too soft or too watery. I don't like it too thick either. So, I just start the picking. Add a little bit of uh, Parmesan. I'm trying to finish this thing. And well, that's not a little bit. Parmesan. Then I'm going to add some blended cheese here. Ready? Add a little more water because as you can see, it's sticking it up now. Hey, good day. to continually, continuously stir this in because um, not only do you really have a thickness but you don't want to have any lumps in there because it's not very, uh, you know, that's not how we cook. I think that amount of water should do it by the time it cooks and thickens to the, its culminative uh, degree. Should be alright. So close it a little bit, come back, stir it a little more. See the butter melted now. It's gonna get thicker, don't worry. Okay, my dear friends. As you can see, this has been cooking for about uh, 10 minutes now. When it gets like that, it's ready. I showed you how much everything I put. I forgot to put black, black pepper before. I'm gonna put it in there now. You need that. And I'm gonna turn off the pot. This it smells really good. That's done. 
I'll be back, I'll be back. Okay, my dear friend. See? I think I left it a little bit too long. Because as you can see, it's very thick. I could have added more water, but I like it like this. Tell you the truth. That smells good. Alright. That's the grits for you. I'll be back out with that. Alright, my dear friends. So now you can see what I meant. Let me get some of this mango first. See how soft and tender it is with the artichoke. Get some of this on the plate. Very good for antioxidant. Sometimes it's not just about flavor, it's about the health benefit. I think that's enough. Now this is what happened to the chips I was trying to make and everything comes out perfectly but it is what it is you don't eat it I wanted it to be more loose like I said like how they do it at the waffle house with the potato this will this will do I'm happy so that's there the grits over here All right, so now it's time for this. See that water in there? This is so good. Look at this. Look at this, my friends. See? The reason I have this little water here left in the foil is so. Sorry, I'm a little messy today. Don't worry about it. It's so that I can take some of this gravy here. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. And oh, there you go. This is why I wanted it a little bit thick because I knew I was adding some, you know, watery stuff to it. There you go, my friends. There you go. All right. The taste test. I always pray, thank God for the food and everything like that. For everybody out there hungry and get something to eat. I do care. Okay. First. Could you not, my friends? Oh my goodness, this thing tastes just like fish, like broth. I can't believe. Anyway, you have to try this, my friends. Oh my gosh. The butter, the amount of time the grits cook, the texture along with the gravy. Oh, you know what? I can't forget about my other stuff. I'm sorry. So let me try uh, this thing here, the mango with the artichoke. Like I said, this is good for antioxidant. Very good. I don't know how it's gonna taste. I put no seasonings, so let's see. Oh my gosh. My friends, I cannot believe everything tastes so coordinatedly good. I saw a vision in my head and it tastes kind of like exactly how I felt it would taste in my head. Let's try to plant it. This didn't come out how I wanted it to, but let's see how it tastes. A piece of artichoke, let's see. We're planting. I would like a little bit more salt on it. I won't like because I like strong flavor. But by itself, the way it is, 
it's just perfect. If you add a little piece of tomato with it, to add a little saltiness, I guess, to it. Let's see how this tastes. This is not my most spicy dish that I ever made, but it's healthier this way because it's too much salt and pepper. You get, you know, heartburn and stuff like that and acid reflux. So let's try some of the fish. That's why I didn't put any seasonings in any of this stuff today, except for the salt and pepper in the grits. Let's try this. Look at this healthy food right on the truck. No problem at all. Together, you have this is what I could suggest. Piece of artichoke, right? You have to get a piece of tomato. The tomato is like it's baked, it's not like you know fresh or fully cooked, it's in between. You get a little piece of fish here. The artichoke, you got a little mango. These flavors you just have to try it together, you just have to trust me. You need also a little piece of uh what is this? Plant in here. I just wanted a little piece, not a big piece. There you go, there you go. Okay. Hmm. Then, you add this in before you finish swallowing. Oh my gosh, the buttery. Oh man. Please subscribe, my friends. Please try this. Everything here, as you can see, fresh, made on the truck. No harm done. I shop at cheap stores, Walmart, anywhere that has a sale. The flavor is, oh my gosh, you just have to be here. I'm sorry. Thank you for your support, my friends. I'm gonna finish this up. It really, really tastes very good. One more bite. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Mm. Oh man. Thank you my friends, thank you. Okay my friends, me and wifey decided to try this here sauce. And it actually came out pretty good. So you know what? Call this fish and dip. Um I had a couple pieces of fish left over after I did what I did with the tomato and stuff, so I wanted to do it a little differently so I don't get tired of the same taste every day, you know? So, taste test for this. Yeah, here we go. Oh. Oh, my mm. oh my gosh, you gotta try this, my friends. This is not too sweet, it's not too hot. It's very, I think it goes better with salad. I'm not gonna lie. But with the fish, it's really good. You gotta try it. Don't heat it up. Try it cold. The fish is hot, of course. Sauce is cold. It's very good. Please trust me. Please subscribe. Thank you. Oh my goodness.